Okay, I'm going to um, let you pause this and read it. Um, you did not tell me you were advertising in the parade. Anyone who advertises anything is considered a commercial entry and must pay a commercial entry fee. The fee is $100, and you can make check or money order out too. And then I said, what, the website? Look up St. Peter's Basilica. I do not profit in any way from that site. It only contains the correct video. Now, I'm going to uh, go up, but I'm going to take this away so I can protect the um, her address and whatnot. Um, but you can see that it was there. So it says, there's my response, the website. And um, she says, I don't know what you're talking about, but anyone who puts an entry into the parade that advertises anything at all is considered commercial and you must pay the fee. You told me you wanted to be part of a parade at the absolute last minute. And I allowed it, but you are responsible. I am not debating your belief, just enforcing rules of the parade. I would appreciate you following them as well. So this is about my belief in the flat earth, okay? I am there only on a free speech issue. I am protected by the First Amendment. Did you go get money from the Boy Scouts? How about the seeing eye dogs? Shame on you. And she says, excuse me. But you did not present yourself as advertising. Boy Scouts and, and puppies decorate for Christmas, for the holiday parade. That is what this day is all about. That is what we want to present to the town to begin holiday season. We are not a political forum for anyone. So now she says Flat Earth is political. I'm sorry to see you did not want to be part of the happy holiday celebration. And I said to her, Mardi Gras is satanic. I was showing the Bible is correct. What was I advertising? Truth? Biblical truth. Genesis is true. So that is what um, you, you will come up against. She did not respond after that. As you can see, there's no more messages on there. Um, but that's the kind of thing that you have to be prepared for. That uh, people think this is uh, political? Why is flat earth political? This is... At, 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 if anything, it's scientific. It's against um, going against what the public schools, the government schools are preaching. But uh, am I anti-government? I don't even think you can stretch that one. Um, I'm just anti-lies. I am anti-lies. I'm anti-teaching lies to children. I'm, uh, I am pro-truth. So I don't know what she's, you know, talking about. I, uh, I don't know. So I'm going to end this here and let you just deal with this because I'm not paying her a hundred dollars and I think it was really bad and poor taste of what she did. So, um, I did take the crash off the top of my, uh, trailer because of some of the negative reactions I was getting. So this was not Maybe it was a Jewish holiday. What kind of holiday was this anyway? So you got to not react. Do not react when, when you get negativity. When you get these pushbacks, do not like just react. You've got to think about your response. Ask them questions. Get them. That's the first thing I did was ask her a question. Try to get it uh, clearly defined as to what she's saying or what any man is saying back to you. So get it all defined and understand um, where they're coming from, because if you just go willy-nilly, they're going to have you all in a tizzer, tither, uh, tizzy, whatever. And <laughs> they'll have you all tongue-tied, just like I was. So love you guys, and just here's some good advice for you, okay? Always get them to define where they're coming from. Thanks. Bye.